here with you from Auto House of Naples and this morning I have something that's completely outside of the box. It is a 1976 C10 pickup truck and it's titled as a GMC. And I say it's outside of the box because this is something we typically don't do. Uh, it's for one of our customers who's dear to us and they uh, have given this to us to actually sell for them. Uh, it was one of their babies, their projects that they were working on and they decided uh, that they didn't have the space and the time for it anymore because they have a business to run and uh, they want somebody else to take this on and finish it up because most of it's done. They were restoring it and uh, just decided that, like I said, they didn't have the time to do it. Uh, as you can see the paneling here, the, uh, right here you can tell that that's basically been redone and the uh, seats here there's nothing wrong with it it looks like that's something that they also had completed the headliner uh, the dash no cracks no fading nothing um, everything on the interior is fantastic there are some gauges that don't work which I'll show you uh, when I do take it on a test drive uh, the oil pressure gauge they did add here um, and that works fine but uh, you know there's no radio right now we do have the radio that they intended to have in it but um, it's actually not installed right now so I, I'm gonna take you around we do have uh, new 33 inch tires on this truck they're awesome it is looks like it's lifted it appears to be lifted to me and it is awesome I like the grill on the front here give me one second to get this open hold on I'm gonna have the camera to help me here thank you all right I love what's underneath the hood here we have a 350 Chevy engine it is a v8 and I mean it's it's great the, the it has been rebuilt the motor transmission the transmission is awesome in this truck the uh, compressor here the air compressor does turn on when you turn the truck on however the blower the, uh, it does not turn on in the interior of the truck, so uh, it could be a fuse blown. It could be uh, that it needs a new blower, but uh, you know it does have the working compressor under here. Let me see if I can shut this for you. <laughs> All right, um, chrome. I mean, it's a almost a I believe a 40 year old truck, so it's uh, the chrome is awesome. Looks like it has been repainted. Uh, you know, there are some flaws from five feet away. This truck looks awesome and perfect. But if you get really up close up to it, you will see some flaws in the paint. Um, yeah, just, you know, right here. And I'll show you as I go along here. You'll just see little things here and there. Nothing too, too serious that would, I think, offend you if you know you, that this truck does need some TLC. This isn't something that you're buying that's in pristine or um, perfect condition. It definitely needs uh, TLC, but just cosmetically, really the transmission, the engine, everything is perfect. So uh, as far as the engine and transmission goes, so it's more of a cosmetic thing. Here again, chrome looks great. You've got uh, your Chevrolet badging and you can tell they redid the uh, bedding. So the, what I, I guess they sprayed the liner here. And uh, so it helps protect the lining of the truck. They added the metal grate here. So it's easy if you throw something up here, um, easy to slide in and uh, it's great. So I will take this truck out on a test drive for you. Um, one thing, we do not see any uh, rust that's visible to us under this truck or around it. So it's, um, like I said, it's in great condition. It just needs your love and care. And I'll see you on the test drive. All right, so I'm gonna get it started up. Today I do have to take the uh, test drive in the other direction because of the sun. I did mention it's morning here. Um, so that is something I have to do. Um, right here, actually, I'm gonna stop it and throw it in neutral for you. I am in drive. You cannot see that because the needles do not work on the uh, shifter here. So that's something that would definitely need to be replaced. Um, I mentioned the oil pressure gauge had been replaced and that's well working however uh, up here this one doesn't work and as you can see the speedometer needs some uh, some care too here's where the air conditioning 
functioning is. However, I mentioned the compressor turns on in the engine. However, it does not blow on the interior of this truck. So that is something that would certainly need to be replaced, especially if you're gonna uh, purchase this car and keep it in Florida. This is where the radio would go. Um, like I said, we do have a radio for it. So um, that's something for you uh, uh, to put in if that's something you'd like. Dual fuel tanks in that one. Yeah, okay, so there are two fuel tanks. This is the button for it. Um, when we turn it off, it starts to use here, okay? Wait, I don't know if you can see, there you go. All right, and then when I turn it on, I'm gonna click this button and I'll show you the button in a second. It changes over to the f other fuel tank. And right here is that button. And I'm gonna uh, switch back. This button right here, I will uh, be honest with you, I have no idea what it is. I'm not gonna touch it just in case it's something um, that I shouldn't be touching. <laughs> this right here is your horn. Beep beep doesn't work so that needs to be replaced as well but like I said cosmetically on the interior lining the uh, dash the seats I love the bench seating uh, yesterday when I was driving it I just wanted to take a nap because it really is so comfortable I figured if I just pull over and kind of lay out it would be uh, extremely comfortable and at least I could uh, catch up on some of my rest but uh, the badging here, I love this wood grain uh, Chevy badging. But, you know, like I said, cosmetically, the truck is wonderful. Engine is wonderful. It's just some other things uh, as far as, you know, the gauges, the air conditioning, the radio, those types of things definitely uh, you would want to replace. So if you have any questions about this truck in a uh, small project, give me a call. It's 239-263-8500. You can also call me directly. It's 239-777-8986. And you can find us on the web. That's at autohousenaples.com. And I will see you at the next one.